Howdy folks, it's your friend Fishing with Dom and today I'm going to do a little bit of talking about maintaining your tip-ups. This is something you don't need to do every week or every day of the ice fishing season or off season. This is just something that I do once a year to make sure that my tip-ups are looking good and they're running as well as they possibly can. Now first things first, you're going to take your tip-up, whatever it may be. I like these thermo-style tip-ups. This one's made by HT. I've got a few Fraydles. Whatever tip-up you use, they're all fantastic. But if you keep up with regular maintenance, you're going to get a very, very prolonged use of time with your tip-up. But first things I do, I remove the flag. That way when you're cleaning it, you're going to not have the flag in the way. And next... All you're going to do is just unscrew one of these pull tabs here. Oh wow, there's a lot more thread on there than I remember. Just unscrew the threads to this bushing right here. And it's going to totally strip your tip up. So make sure you don't lose any of these. We've got two of these bolts. I'm going to set them down right here. And then make sure I pull that up. Don't want to. I've got, I've got a a spacer, some sort of washer that goes in between this bushing and the tip up arm. And when we look at it, we've got the tip up totally stripped. We've got the plate right here. We've got the arm, the spool, the release, and then I've got the flag too. One of my biggest reasons. That, now this is just me that I personally do this is just to clean it you know off season depending on where the heck you're storing your tip ups they might not necessarily be the cleanest and I don't want to go out there with dirty stuff so I'm just going to take this tip up and some Lysol all purpose cleaner and just just kind of spray it down now this stuff works really well if you have if you're like me and you put your names on your tip-ups. If you ever want to wash permanent marker off of this plastic, this cleaner works really, really well too. But you gotta let it soak in for a little while and I want to keep my phone number and name on there just in case an emergency ever happened. But just like that, you wipe down the tip-up, it's totally clean, you get every last inch of this plastic and it looks really, really good. You just cleaned it up, you got a lot of dirt off of it. That's really, really awesome. Now, you don't have to clean your tip-up. That's just something I do. But when it comes to maintaining your tip-up, this is something that I've, I've personally been coming up with. Now, now this bushing, whatever you want to call it, and this, this arm going down to your spool, it's metal. So like a lot of other things that are metal, they're going to require oiling. And just slight oiling and slight maintenance. This is just your basic $3 lubricating oil I got from the auto parts store. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put two drops in th this center pinhole just so that way when it slides up and down it's nice and smooth and then it prevents rust from building on the arm going down to the spool also. And then on both ends of this bushing there's threads so I am going to let's say one, two, three, let it let the oil go down and then I'll flip it over and then I'll put one, two, three. That way there's a good amount of oil in there and we shouldn't be worried about it. I just had to pull the trash can out underneath here so I don't get oil on my carpet. Now just like that, she's smooth as eggs. I tell you what, and then going down to your spool, it's never a bad idea to add just a drop on all of your moving parts so here's the arm and on the inside of the arm this is a hollow pipe that has metal going through it going straight down to the spool so you're gonna wanna remember to open all of that stuff and just just drop some oil on it so it runs a little bit more smooth a little bit more functional you know maybe drop uh, a hint of oil on your spool so she spins a little bit better but outside of that, I'd say she's oiled up. She's looking really, really good. You know, work work it in a little bit. Maybe drop, put a few more drops on there. Work it out, spin it. Everything is 
smooth as eggs. Looking good, looking good. Now, next step, I'm going to take my, my towel and just kind of absorb a little bit of the extra oil that was on the shaft. So she's still running nice and clean, very, very smooth. We're going to put it back together now. We're going to start by taking the arm and just putting it onto the tip up near the bracket just like that. And you're going to want to make sure you have this fitting on one side of the bushing. It doesn't matter what side it is, but you're just going to hold it on and hold it even just like that. And take your screws from before and just put them back in. Now I know this might seem a little simple, this might seem a little mundane, but if you keep up with maintaining tip-ups, it's like keeping up with maintenance on your house or your car. The longer you take care of it, the longer it'll work for you and take care of you and your fishing abilities. Now, this is something I do once a year, and I can't find that other... Oh, oh where it is, where it go? There it is. Found that last one. Don't lose these because you don't want to have to call the tip-up company and have to get new ones sent your way or have to find ones that fit. And just sink her down in there. Nice and nice and easy. And if you notice, whenever you're going to adjust your tip-ups or pack them up for next time in the cold, you're not, you're not going to struggle with breaking these free because they're already oiled. You're not going to struggle with pulling this up and down or adjusting any of this because it's been oiled, because it's been maintained. And it's it's easy as that. Now last thing, can't forget to put the flag back on. Sometimes I super glue my flag to the tip up itself if it isn't already. Um, in this case I haven't, but I do, I do, I do that sometimes. Now, I, I don't ever see a reason why the flag has to come off a tip-up, so that's why I super glue it. But just sink that spring right on there on that male end. And if you look at that, you've got a, brand, you've got a really clean, brand-new level functioning tip-up right there. We washed the outside with some Clorox cleaner. We oiled all of the threading and the shafts to the tip-up. This, this baby is ready for catching anything. Now, just, just doing a couple of a little maintenance things. It'll work better for you when you're on the ice and hopefully hopefully catch you a fish or two. This won't now being oiled won't catch you more fish, but hey. If, if it works better, it works better at what it does. And don't be afraid to drop a little bit of oil in there if you want to. There's no such thing uh, as putting too much oil when when necessary but if you like this video or if you have any comments or questions or suggestions please let me know in the section below i would love to hear from y'all but until next time i hope you have a great day i hope you go out and catch some fish and i hope you make something of yourself now until next time i'm fishing with dom you be sure to take it easy and have a great day Bye bye <laughs>